guys so we wanted to go over real quick rundown for our meat birds this year we did husky reds from hoover hatchery this year our goal was to have a three pound finished processed bird we originally ordered 30 and um, we lost three in the first four weeks it was just basically chicks piling up they got cold as far as the feeding plan while they were in the brooder for those first four weeks they were mainly fed at will uh, then at four weeks old they went to pasture and then we basically put them on a ration where they were fed twice a day a certain amount uh, to encourage foraging and the ration was increased every week up until 10 weeks and then we raised them all the way to 13 weeks is when we butchered down to the brass tacks of everything uh, um, we know what the bird cost was that was $99 for the 30 from the hatchery um, which I thought was a decent price. Our feed cost for those 13 weeks um, was right about $192 um, and we were just buying from a local feed store not real high-end feed but not the lowest you know so our total cost was $291 to raise the birds for 13 weeks. The rest of it was all just labor and time. We used the meat birds a lot to help uh, the kids with chores we put them they were on the chore chart and they were responsible every day for feeding and watering um, under our supervision and then I moved them every day but other than that time wise I bet we spent you know seven eight minutes a day total on the meat birds now for the finished weight what we harvested from those birds um, it, we finished out with 69 pounds 15 ounces of finished chicken dressed right dressed yeah dressed correct and then that breaks down to a call or our average weight was about 2.8 so we're right at basically two and a half pounds a little over two and a half pounds is what it averages out to be per bird so we fell a little short of our goal we think um, we talked a little bit about that in one of the previous videos which I'll put a card up there about that about how we think maybe the heat might have affected um, their weight loss in those last three weeks um, because it was really hot during that time and uh, you know there were several times where um, I mean they were just wearing out the sod at that point and um, it was just extremely hot and I know that's hard on animals and people when it's that hot it ended up being pretty close to a four a high four pound you know say 12 ounce average live weight bird uh, and then we had some that were well over five well, now we'll get into the total cost of the birds um, the total cost was about ten dollars and forty cents per bird to raise that's 28 birds that doesn't figure in the loss basically I roll in that cost I probably would have gone down if we would have finished out with 30 birds total but um, so that's about average I, I feel like from what I've seen on the internet <laughs> which everybody knows everything that's on the internet is true, right? I mean, and then the price per pound is about 4 sixteenths. And we're, we're not obviously um, raising these to sell um, at this time. This is for our own consumption. So, um, but it just gives you a kind of an idea. We just wanted to put that out there. If you're thinking about meat birds, what you can kind of expect and cost. And again, this is our second go around with them. And um, so now real quick, I just, think we should talk about our impressions of the breed and what we liked what we didn't like I thought they were really healthy and and pretty birds and they looked good um, you know hardy. We, we could have yeah hardy we could have gone with the Cornish cross and got more meat but from what I've heard and seen they're just not something you really want to look at they're after not, a while they're not pleasing to look at and they're not healthy looking no matter what you do um but i always thought you know every time i came out to feed him or whatever i thought that they looked really good and really healthy and I don't like know. they were faring well i've seen some pretty healthy looking cornish cross i think it just depends on the environment they're not a they're not a highly mobile bird obviously you know i've seen some healthy looking ones i've also seen some unhealthy looking ones too 
eye impressions were again they were healthy they were vibrant birds all the way till the very end at the time when we ordered you could only get a straight run the difference between hens and roosters was drastic. You could tell there, there was a separation of almost a half pound in between those um, at 13 weeks. I don't really have any complaints. Again, I would have, I really, So I think, would you do roosters next time? I think so. If I had that option, I would definitely, th I think I'd do, I think I'd do so many roosters and so many hens and I'd pin them separately and see if that process because I think the roosters dominate a little bit more, are a little more, uh, well, they're higher on the pecking order in the chicken world. So um, that I think that contributed to some of the weight differences we saw. That is um, kind of the takeaways on the breed. And um, we really enjoy the, the whole process, start to finish. Of course, you know, chicks, we, everybody likes chicks. And then- um, But it is kind of nice to be done. Yeah, it is a relief. It's always a relief when you get to this time of year. You've got meat in your freezer and uh, you feel good about that. We know where that meat came from. We know what went into that meat. And uh, it's, it's, a lot, it's a little bit of work every day for a long period of time. And then it's one day of a lot of hard work and they had a good life. And um, so again, that's, that's the rundown on the meat birds. If you're interested in um, doing meat birds, I don't know that I would suggest doing over summers. I think we're rethinking um, trying to do summer birds right now. Um, we're not. We're not decided. Like we might wait until fall. Yeah. Well, or we may wait till next spring. It just depends. Um, it does I, take a toll on them. It. It. Yeah. It's the 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 summers. It's just harder on on chickens, you know, um, and watering and things like that in the summer are just really tough. So, and that was my my nightmare for the last three weeks leading up to butchering day was I was going to walk out, walk back and see that maybe we forgot to water them and a lot of dead birds. Hey guys, thanks for coming along with us. If you're just running into our videos, please like and subscribe. If you uh, want to keep up with what's going on here at Arrow Ridge, we appreciate all of our subscribers and the comments and feedback we get and we learn just as much from you guys as we're giving back and you can learn from us, hopefully. That's and if you are raising meat birds or you're thinking about it, tell us what kind that you are raising and what your experiences are because I like to hear about other people's experiences with them and, and get their opinions too. So again, thanks for coming along with us. We'll see you next time and have a good night. We're out. Uh, doing them. So real quick, I just wanted to go over what we, what kind of birds we did. And three, uh, originally, we lost three within the first four weeks of getting them. Come Charlotte, here, Bo. Charlotte, can you come play with Bo for a minute? Yeah. What were they called? Red Rangers? Smaller, so we were trying to get a three pound, three pound finished processed bird this year. And so we were able to.